Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of Everything Kratom, the podcast about anything and everything Kratom. Great to have you with us on this Thursday morning. Hoping all is well with you as always. And today I wanted to share with you something new, believe it or not, yet another new thing that I've realized about Kratom. There are so many things to think about and talk about. Woo woo! I'm not going to be put out of business anytime soon here. So today I wanted to talk about how Kratom affects me differently in warm weather versus cold weather. I had never thought about this until today. And this morning when I woke up, it was a nice, warm, sunny day. It's going to go up to like 86 degrees today. So there hasn't been like a summer day like this day uh, yet this year. And in this part of the country, we get pretty extreme weather patterns. So, you know, on the shoulder seasons especially, but just in general, like this past winter, we had days when it was like negative 25 degrees. And then we also had days when it was like 30 degrees and sunny or even 40 degrees and sunny and it's like what the heck you know in february you get a 50 degree day followed by like a 10 degree day (laughs) so it's insane but in the shoulder seasons it's even more so and something that i've been realizing this morning is that kratom tends to affect me differently when it's warmer out than when it's colder out. And I'm realizing that because it has generally been fairly cool up until this week, but this week is just a warm week. Like it started off in the mid 60s, yesterday it was in the mid to upper 70s, and today it's in the mid to upper 80s, and it's gonna be in the mid to upper 80s for the rest of the week. And you can kind of tell when the day is gonna be warm really early on in the in the morning, which is neat. And so by the time I took my Kratom, it was already warm, you know, warmer than it had been throughout the whole week. So I would say it was like 76, 77 degrees and it was, you know, it was the morning still, so it's going to get hotter. And here's what I found with relation to the weather in Kratom. I hadn't thought about this until today. Thinking back, I realized that Kratom does not affect me as strongly in cold weather as it does in warm weather. Now, I don't know if this is just me or if this is something that other people have experienced as well, but maybe it has to do with, you know, the actual physical nature of being cold versus warm, or maybe it's just a psychological thing in my head that has to do with like, oh, it's cold, I'm in hibernation mode, I'm not going to feel as much as normal, <laughs> if that makes sense. I don't know what the answer is, but but essentially what I found is that Kratom, thinking back, Kratom didn't affect me this winter as strongly as it has this week and specifically this morning. Uh, I'm taking the same amounts as I always do, um, same types of Kratom as I normally do, you know, my green Malay, my white uh, Indo, my white Thai, all these types of Kratom that you've probably heard me talk about over and over again. And they're affecting me in a different way. It's not not that the effects are different, but just that they come on quicker and heavier. And the feeling that I get from the Kratom is heavier and stronger. And the only thing that I can think of that is changing and that correlates is the weather. And I think that this week it was easier for me to see this because the week started off 20 degrees cooler than it is today. And slowly each day, the effects of the Kratom have gotten more strong, more intense as the weather gets warmer. So I'm wondering if that has to do with it. Another possibility, it might have to do with like just getting sunshine, vitamin D, maybe since it's sunnier out, my body's more active. And so it's going to process something more just simply because I'm more awake, like bodily, I'm more awake. Um, That's another thought that I've had. Obviously, there's no science going into this. This is just my my thoughts, my ranting brain. (laughs) But I'm sharing my ranting thought riddled brain with you all today. So that's what's going through my head. Um, I'll be interested to see what happens at the end of the week because at the end of the week, the weather is supposed to get milder and it's supposed to drop back down into the lower 70s. So, and it's going to get cloudy. So it'll be interesting to see if this effect, you know, maintains 
or if the correlation continues and that uh, the effects actually go down in intensity and in heaviness and in strength as the week progresses. So I'll definitely keep that in mind and update everyone on that. Uh, as I learn more about how it affects me. But I'd be fascinated to know, I mean, is this something that you notice as well? And also, is this something that differs based on place? Like, Kratom is from a very hot, tropical place. So it's interesting to think that it affects me more when it's hot and more humid outside um, than when it's colder and drier. And I wonder if there's something inherent to the plant in that, you know? So many different things to think about, and it's really neat and it's fun, and I don't necessarily know what the answer is, but I really enjoy thinking through these things because why the heck not, you know? Keeps my mind open, and I like to not stay stuck inside my own box of like, Kratom affects you this way, this is the chemical process, and that's how it is. It's like, no, you know, mind over matter sometimes. And so maybe it's that I'm just happy. Maybe it's just that I'm enjoying life more, that I'm getting out and about more and exercising more. Even though I don't think I am, I do feel like maybe I'm taking a little more of a walk with my dogs every day since it's warmer. I mean, I don't know. Maybe that has something to do with it. So many factors, but it's just always neat to think about this sort of thing. And I like to share my thoughts with you because, hey, I don't have a therapist. I've got to share this with somebody. So, unfortunately, that's you. <laughs> but thanks for listening in. Um, yeah, let me know what you think. Email me. Anything, everything, kratom at gmail.com. I'd be fascinated to know what your experiences are and if they differ based on where you live, either around the country or around the world, as this show does reach a global audience. Woo-woo! So, thanks so much for listening in. We'll be back tomorrow, as always, to round out the week. And thanks so much for sticking with me for another one here. All right, everybody. We'll be back tomorrow. Bye-bye.